Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my review of The Atlas Paradox by Livy Blake. Okay, so the first part of this video will be spoiler free and then I will have a spoiler section at the end and I will warn you before I start talking about spoilers. But to begin, this is the follow-up to The Atlas Six, which I absolutely adored. Um, I loved The Atlas Six. I have two copies of it. Essentially what The Atlas Six is about is there are six candidates who are chosen to be initiated or they're kind of in a trial period for the Alexandrian Society, which essentially is like the Library of Alexandria. And they are told five of them will be initiated and one of them will be eliminated. And they are being judged on essentially everything once they arrive to the society. And that is kind of what the first book is about without giving spoilers. If you also haven't read the first book, you need to go read that before you read this one. Um, but I did really enjoy the first book. So this picks up right where the first one left off. And I won't say too much because that is a spoiler of the last book if you have not read it. But I read this book three, 3.5 stars. Um, I did not like it as much as The Atlas Six, which pains me to say. But I am still ho hopeful for book three um, because this book does leave off on a cliffhanger. And I think that the third book will be good. I think it's just one of those second book syndrome kind of things where it's too much filler and it's just setting up for the third book. So um, for my non-spoiler review, some of the things I liked and disliked. First, the things that I liked. This book, the magic is still very interesting to me. I, um, although it is a little too smart for me, um, I am still very much interested in the magic system of this world. And the last like 100, 200 pages of this book became very interesting to me. Anything that had to do with the Libby scenario and anything that had to do with Gideon were so fascinating to me. I loved the like dream world um, stuff because I, I said in my last review I wanted to know more about Gideon and I really was interested in his character and they do a lot of that with um, being in the alternate like dream world in this book which I found those things really interesting. I still love Nico. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. Um, but a lot of these characters like did not like were kind of unlikable in this book. Not unlikable. I just wasn't interested. Like I literally was not interested. Um, and so here's kind of the things I had a problem with, which is why I ended up giving it three stars. And if you know me, I always rate pretty high. So three stars is like not good for me. Um, one, they bring out these new alliances that I just like couldn't understand like they weren't good to me like they like didn't make sense like there was no like substance to why these alliances were forming beside like basic need for the plot and so I didn't really love that there's a lot of Reyna in this book and I'm not gonna lie every single Reyna chapter was boring to me which kind of pains me also to say but they were. They were boring to me, so I didn't really love those chapters either. And I just feel like the first half of this book was so slow. Like, this book is pretty slow, and I think it's because it's kind of, it feels like a filler book. Um, there wasn't, like, much happening. Not, like, there were problems and there are things at stake, but we weren't really addressing them for half of the book. And so, like, none of those, like, fast-paced, like, things that, like, you're like, oh my goodness, like, is this going to be resolved? None of those things were happening for, like, the first half of the book. And I am a person who, when I read a book, I normally, like, read them pretty quickly. Like, I never take more than three days to read a book, usually. Um, and the first 100 pages, it took me, like, four or five days to read the first 100 pages of this book. That is, like, unheard of for me. This put me in a slump. Like, I didn't want to read. Which is like not something I really want from a book. But again, the ending of it, I did, I, I enjoyed it. And I think that the next one will be good. It just was such a drag for me trying to get through this. And I hate that I, I hate that that happened. I hate, that, like that made me, like the fact that I wasn't like drawn to pick this book up really like put it down for me. Which I am very disappointed in because I, again, loved The Atlas Six. I think overall, again, the world of this series is very interesting. 
really fun. The magic is like kind of crazy. Like I still don't understand because they still don't understand how half of their powers work. Um, and I do really like the different characters and I do like like Callum. I hate him but like in the best way possible. And <laughs> so I still enjoyed the characters. I just think the plot was lacking a little bit in this book. Okay, so there's not much else I can say without giving spoilers. So this is the spoiler section of the video. Um, for one thing, um, let's just talk about these alliances that happened. So, um, the fact that Nico and Reyna's friendship was kind of ruined in this book kind of upset me. Like, I did not love that. And I also... My family is yelling at my dog. Also, like, was kind of confused by the Callum Reyna, like, alliance. Didn't really make sense to me. Didn't love it. And on the subject of Callum, he, like, went off the rails. Man became an alcoholic. Like, he is having an identity crisis or something. I don't know. He was not doing okay in this book, um, which was interesting because he's Callum. I mean, I guess if everyone wanted you dead too, you would probably also be kind of... Like, even though he pretends like he doesn't care about what other people think of him, like, they tried to murder you, dude. So I guess that kind of threw him through a, a loop in this book. Um, I was hoping that we would get more explanation between behind, like, Atlas in this book. I still know nothing more than I knew then. I d don't get Atlas don't get his motivations, don't understand them. On top of the fact that Dalton, oh my goodness, another character who I'm so confused about. Like, I thought he was cool, and now I think that I don't like him. And I don't understand, like, everything with the prince and the castle and um, him having, like, locked away part of his consciousness was very confusing and it made me like very confused about him as a character like his person like I don't get that also Parisia also confused me because is she in love with him I think she is can't really tell if she really loves anybody but then there was the whole scene with her and I think it was Tristan was it Tristan or Nico? There was one scene with her with another person that I was like, this is really confusing because, like, I thought she was an adult and she confuses me. I, I'm going to say that this entire book just confused me. Like, I don't understand. Like, it was all just, like, a mashup of, like, what is even happening right now. And maybe I'm just dumb because that could be, that could be the answer is I just, I wasn't paying attention well enough, but it was so boring that it was kind of hard to pay attention. Also, um, another character that I don't understand was the Bellin character. Um, cause did she die? I think she died. But like, what was the point of any of that? There was no point. It didn't make sense. Like, I don't understand why that storyline really got thrown in there. Like, it really didn't contribute much to the overall scheme of things. Like, it really didn't. Another thing, another character, Libby. Okay, um, so she's bad now, I guess. Like, her morals went down the drain. And I understand she did what she had to do, but, like, also very confused. Is this, like, her corruption happening? Like, are, are we seeing her be corrupted at this point? Because I was not really ready for that. Um, and while we're talking about Libby, I'm gonna assume she's not dead. Because the whole cliffhanger at the end of this book was Libby shows up finally she's back in the current time period and she just collapses into Gideon's arms after she killed um Ezra so I'm assuming that she's still gonna be alive and that she's not dead but that was I, I'm assuming it's literally just because she collapses in his arms due to the fact that it took so much for her, power for her to get back um but I hate that she's like, not evil, but she's just like, does not care anymore. Because I liked Libby, and now she's kind of just like, oh well, let me like ruin everybody's lives, that's fine, just so I can get back to the present day. So there's that. Um, okay, on another topic, relationships. I, in the last book, was kind of shipping Nico and Libby. 
Um, because enemies to lovers vibes there, you know? And then the whole Nico and Gideon situation happened, which I'm not opposed to because I do love Gideon. But it just felt off to me. Like, it didn't feel like it was properly, like, thought out. Like, it didn't... Like, I get they care about each other, but that whole scene just felt like there needed to be more development of that for it to happen. And so I'm still kind of confused how I feel about that as well. Also, everything that had to do with the forum, which, like, was more interesting, but also I'm like, what did you even do? Like, they literally did nothing. All of Ezra's plotting resulted in nothing other than, like, the fight sequences at the end of the book. But it just felt, it was clearly th filler because everything felt like there was no conclusion, like nothing really happened. So I still am very on the, like, confused about all of that. Like, what was the point? What was the point of what you were doing because you had no results from anything at all? Overall, I mean, I didn't hate this book. I will say the end of it got kind of interesting, but I just feel like it was a lot of thriller. It was a lot of filler, and it could have been better. Like, the plot just wasn't there for me. So, I think that's really all I'm going to say about it. I, I Because I just, I don't understand anything, and I don't, I was kind of disappointed. So... <laughs> That's my thoughts on the Atlas Paradox by Libby Blake. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.